About two million people take the metro here every day. It's the most modern in Latin America. And soon it's going to become the first public transportation system in the world to be run using mostly renewable energy. By the end of this year, 60% of the metro's energy needs will be met by either solar or wind power. The Mars-like landscape in Chile's Atacama Desert has the highest levels of solar radiation on Earth, making it an ideal place for solar energy plants. And California-based company SunPower is investing around $250 million in a plant to produce 42% of the metro's power. In the last few years, solar energy has become a lot cheaper, and a long-term contract with SunPower allows the metro to buy solar energy at around $80 per megawatt, making it competitive with other suppliers. We want that it at a low price, but even uh, coming from uh, clean suppliers. And we think that in th this case, uh, it's important for the people to, to, to think that metro is having a very, um, it's not contaminating. Chile is doing business with companies from all over the world, cashing in on having ideal conditions for different types of green energy. We have sun, wind, water and geothermal energy. And in the last few years we have changed the regulations, so we can get the most out of our natural resources. This energy, as well as being good for the environment, is also much cheaper now, so it's better for businesses. And that's why we are leaders in Latin America and the world in green energy. Passengers will have to wait a few more months for the metro to start using solar and wind energy. But with solar energy becoming more affordable, hospitals and museums are also turning to it. And projects like these are helping Chile earn a reputation as a leading light in renewable energy. Jane Chambers, TRT World, Santiago.